Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today we are here to take a look at some pens. Specifically, we are going to be examining the Moco Surface Pen, and this is the model that they feature with 1024 pressure sensitivity levels. There is another one that is 4096, however this one is the one that was provided. Moco did send me this pen to test alongside and compare it to the original Surface Pen from Microsoft. I did not purchase this and it was provided by the company for me to test. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros and cons of each solution. But first things first, we need to get this out of the box. So it's a pretty simple box, not a whole lot to it. It lists the compatibility of all the different products that this is supposed to work with. The new Surface, Surface Pro uh, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the Surface Laptop 1 and 2, the Surface Book 1 and 2, and the Surface Studio 1 and 2. So if we uh, open up the box, we get obviously the pen. We get a card explaining the buttons, how the pen tip works, and the pincer to remove that. And then this uh, little note saying, you know, it's got a battery in it, don't be dumb. So, we'll go ahead and open up the packaging here and remove the bits that we really care about, which of course are the battery and the pen itself. The pen is made out of what appears to be a, an aluminum alloy and is one solid piece except for the top where it rotates off and the battery can be inserted. The battery should be inserted with the positive side down, negative side up. Now there is a couple things that we really need to draw our attention to because even though this pen is a third of the cost at around 40 Canadian dollars, they're, they're not equal in terms of features. The first one that I've already mentioned is that this pen, the original, has 4096. This one has 1024 uh, levels of press, pressure sensitivity. One other thing to note is that this pen is communicating to the tablet with Bluetooth 4.0 to access certain functions that the button can do in uh, applications. This pen does not have any of those features. This pen has uh, magnets in it that allow it to be stored alongside surface devices. This pen does not. Oh, it does. So I think that the work that's happening here is the magnets on the inside of the Surface Book 2 are doing the heavy lifting. It's certainly not what I would call a very firm connection. It's nowhere near as nice or as snug as the flat surface in here. And that's because there is an actual dedicated magnet uh, inside this pen. So does it work? Ness. Ness. We'll uh, just carry on with our tests for today. And realistically, um, an artist would know far more about this than I would. However, I do have a canvas open here in Affinity 1.8.2. And we'll start off with the Surface Pen. And what we'll go ahead and do is select the brush tool. All right, so we've got our brush tool selected here. And again, this the regular pen, everything seems to be pretty smooth. And then if we switch over to this one, we get a practically identical experience in terms of just basic stuff. Now, if we up the ante on this just a tiny bit and say something like whiteboard, We can see the pressure level sensitivity there. And there as well, like it, for all intensive purposes, it does perfectly fine. Uh, there's nothing that I really feel like you would be lacking uh, using this pen. It does everything that you would uh, expect it to do. 
Uh, the only downside, of course, is that you can't flip over and use the back end to erase, but there is a button that's dedicated uh, to that. All in all, there is, like, it's perfectly fine. Like, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. So if you are in a situation where the Surface Pen is 130 Canadian dollars of things that you won't use, if you don't need uh, the keyboard shortcuts for the wireless presenter, for example, or the quick shortcuts that the Surface Pen provides, if you do not need the higher levels of pressure sensitivity, and if you do not need the magnetic storage, then there is really nothing wrong with this pen. So, I would be really curious to know if there are any artists in our community that have had experience with the MoCo pen or something similar to it. And have you actually missed those levels of pressure sensitivity? I'd be really curious to know. If you wouldn't mind leaving any questions that you have or maybe your experience with uh, other third-party pens with your Surface devices, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you would like to get one of these pens, like I said, third of the cost, doesn't seem to be any reason not to, I'll leave the links for where you can order yours in the description down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this sort of content, I'm gonna leave the big four here just along the bottom. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time that a video like this is released. Uh, talking about a ways that you can run a Surface uh, device on a budget. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.